What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Hope all is going well on the other side of the video. I just hopped out of the shower, and today we are going to do one of my long-requested, long-asked-for how to straighten your beard video. So, in this video, I want to break up beard straightening into two separate categories. First is going to be kind of your stage one category, and the second will be your stage two category, which will be the ultimate in straight beards. On a daily basis, my beard comes out of the shower looking like this. It's um, really curly. I've got some giant curls here. And it, uh, it needs some work on straightening. So the first category, I don't really consider it much of a straightening process, but as I thought about it, it, it really kind of is. And basically, what we do after I hop out of the shower is I always add some beard oil. So uh, hopefully this will focus on you. It's lumber yard. It just came in real recently. This stuff, uh, uh, it's so new I haven't even been using it as much as I should be. So with my length beard, we'll tap out about six drops. You've seen my video on how to apply beard oil. Oh man, that cedar wood. I always love uh, a new beard oil because the scent uh, is always new to your nose, so it's really impactful. It, you really smell it more intensely the first time you use it. And then when uh, after a while of using it, you kind of get adjusted to it, so it's always good to switch. So I applied the beard oil. Now for the first level of straightening, what you're going to need is a hair dryer. I got one with ions because uh, it uh, dries your beard a little bit quicker. And then uh, I also use this type of attachment. I think this is great. Um, way to disperse in the heat, the diffuser. Um, if you don't have one of these, a comb could probably serve in its place. And then uh, finally to kind of calm everything down, I'll do this. Um, so before we start hair drying, what we'll want to do is apply a little product to it. And that's going to give it the hold, keep it in place. There's a couple of options. Uh, we sell this fellow barber texture paste. I've done another video on it. It's a, a great styling product. But also, I don't know uh, if you guys knew this, but you could use our mustache wax and work it into the palm of your hand and throw in a little bit of beard oil mix it together, and it essentially works as a, a styling product as well. Uh, but for the purposes of today, I'm going to be using, uh, we'll use the fellow bar. I actually switch it up, so there's no right or wrong way. It's just kind of what your preferences are for the day. Uh, this stuff is like a marshmallow texture, and it kind of smells like fennel, uh, like anise, like licorice a little bit, and it goes really well with our other new beard oil, which is Urban Garden. And Urban Garden is basil and fennel. So if you want to pair these two together, works great. So we're working this into the beard. And the styling products, what it's going to do is just give us a little more control. A little more, uh, well, control. Be able to tell the hairs what to do. And once I get the product in, I start off with the diffuser. What I want to do is speed, I want to put on low, and then the heat, I want to put on medium. Let's begin. Oh, and the, the, the strategy that I like to do is I want to blow the air up and out, up and out, up and out, and that's going to help straighten the hairs out, lock it into place. The faster speed you do and the higher heat you do, the straighter your hair will go. So it kind of depends on what your preferences are, on how straight you want the beard. Uh, but like I said, I like to put it on medium and uh, low speed. So 
So kind of what my strategy and my goal is, is to separate all the hairs individually. Now this will help get rid of the giant curls that are you know, grouped together. Uh, so when I can separate these hairs, have them lay down on each other, it's going to give the appearance of a straighter beard, uh, but still have a little bit of that natural curl look to it. Okay, once that's generally dry, uh, what I'll want to do from there is switch out the attachments and kind of do the final touch. Now you'll have to forgive me, I don't have a mirror in here, so this is all just going off of muscle memory. Hopefully it's looking better than when I started. Mustache to the side. <laughs> So I was blowing up and out, and now what I want to do is blow it down to give a kind of a straight down look. And then come everything into place. And then usually what I like to do is maybe one more fluff out. One more fluff out and then down. Yeah, so I'm just feeling it. I don't know what my beard looks like. You guys can tell me in the comments, does it look better? Does it look straighter? That'd be great. So this is stage one. This is essentially what I do on a daily basis uh, to get my beard looking to the way I prefer it. Um, what I wanna talk about now is stage two, where you, you get a straightening iron and you essentially just straighten the beard like you would straighten uh, head hair, if you have longer head hair. What you'll need for this are some clips Don't know what these are called. And a mini, and it's very important to get a mini straightening iron. Now the reason you want a mini straightening iron versus a giant big one is the big one, you really don't have the room to work with it at all. Uh, you're gonna end up like burning your face. You'll have burn marks all over your face. This gives you a heck of a lot more control at a shorter level. Um, now, why would you want to straighten your beard with a straightening iron? Some people really prefer the look. Uh, again, personally, I don't think that's uh, a very good look. I don't, I don't recommend it if that's what you're going for. But also, uh, another reason you may want to do it is for beard competitions where you're doing a freestyle beard. And it can give you a little more control, a little more uh, style, finesse, to really get a, a cool kind of image if that's what you want to go with. Be careful with these. You can burn holes into your beard, okay? I don't like doing this, so I'm gonna go through the motions and show you how it's done uh, without the heat on. So what you'll wanna do is clip up certain sections of your beard and This will help get your beard out of the way so you can reach the different levels behind your beard, like your neck beard. So you go like that. Now we have a section here that's really easily reachable. And the process is, after this is heated up, grab a section, Pinch it down, and the motion that you want to do is one slow motion. And what you don't want to do is, you know, go like this over and over again. So you, you want to shoot for one motion. 
And I've seen other where, other places and, and other people recommend that you should almost get like a little bit of uh, uh, smoke or burn. I want to say burning, but just like you can kind of see the steam coming out as it goes through. Um, so you may really want to consider this is going to be hot as Hades. It's going to burn your beard. You may really want to look into investing in a, a heat protecting type of product. Uh, the ones that you use for your hair should be able to work for these. But you go through the process and again, it will start from the top and gradually go down. And then when you get done with that section, same thing happens. Start here and then gradually go up. So it'll be about that pace. And you'll go through the various sections and these clips really help a lot to be able to get to the sections that you need and, and parcel out uh, the sections of the hair. And when you do that, you'll have like a really straight beard. And keep in mind when you straighten your beard through that process, it's going to actually thin up your beard a little bit because the curls will shorten up and add a little bit of density here. Whereas when you straighten it, uh, you no longer have that same kind of density, so it's going to just go straight down, flowing. Uh, it will look cool. I've been to some beard competitions where guys had like really thick hair and they straightened it. And it was a really cool look uh, for the competition. So, uh, that's about what I would recommend uh, for that. If you go this route, you're going to have the straightest hair you can imagine. Hope you guys learned. Hope you guys can now deal with your straight beards. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on.